What's up everyone? You go for God here. Um, it's been a little bit since Vegas. It's been, uh, I guess it's about to be a week since, um, like registration was done, but, um, we're finishing up a vlog. I already have the vlog recorded, obviously, but I wanted to go over a verse and I'll do a deck profile before the vlog starts. Um, and then you guys can enjoy the vlog. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, we'll go over the verse first. So the verse is Second Chronicles fifteen seven. It says, "But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded." Um, whenever, whenever we're working at something towards a goal, um, our main aim is to achieve our goal, right? Um, but we don't always achieve our goal, but in order to have that goal be achieved, we need to work hard for it. So um, I'll, I guess, leave the results for the end. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm like doing this on the spot. Uh, I'll talk about the matchups and stuff uh, at the end of the video. But um, yeah, so if you want to achieve a goal, you gotta work hard. Um, and any work that we do in the world, um, whether it be for something that is, I don't know, like for actual like work, or if you're working for the Lord, just knowing that um, anything you do, um, if you put uh, work into it, you'll be rewarded in some sort of way. That doesn't mean you'll get your, uh, your, what's it called? Your goal doesn't mean that that specific goal will be achieved, but you might learn something from that, which is a, in a way a reward because um, nothing that happens in the world is going to be perfect aside from uh, God's will. And uh, knowing that when we put our work in that some sort of uh, like good comes out of it is it's it's good to good to think about it that way. Um, so you don't get disappointed. Um, but anyways, uh, we played for the event, we played Fire King Snake Guy. It's actually pretty weird. Um, I've never picked up a deck this late before a big tournament. And so I picked up Fire King Snake Guy on the Monday before the event. So I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was deckless due or it was like Friday morning or something, but I turned it in on Thursday because it's like, I'm not I'm not planning on waking up that, that early to uh, turn in the deck list. So I basically had like four days to test it. I looked at it here and there, I looked at gameplay and stuff, but in terms of playing it, there's very little gameplay of it before I picked up the deck. Um, so uh, I had to put in a good amount of work. I didn't get a lot of time to work on the deck. I got to play two locals and some testing um but it worked out pretty well um so we'll go over the deck profile and then at the end of the video i'll talk about um like matchups my personal record and yeah so we played 43 cards i wanted it to be 40 but it's this deck has a lot of space it seems like um to play more than 40 but yeah 43 was what we decided on as a team um so uh yeah so hand traps we played a lot of hand traps this is a hand trap deck basically hand traps and it, it's like it's really weird it's like a lot of one card combos and so you have a lot of space for non-engine so uh hand traps we played three ash this card is really good um yeah they can heat up but at the end of the day, this card is just really good in general, so you kind of just have to play it. Um, yeah, it's. I was thinking about not playing it for a while, for a little bit, in my Rescue Ace Snake Eye deck. I was playing uh, Ash in the side, but it's just too good to not play in the main, um, especially for other matchups. Uh, it's a tier zero format, but other matchups are always gonna come up. So three Ash, three Droll, two Valor, uh, three is an option, and um, I actually have tested three since the event. 
Uh, and Baylor's just a good card right now, so you can play it at three. I played it at two. Um, three Nibiru. This card is really good. This is probably the most impactful next to Infinite Impermanence. I would say these two are the most impactful cards. This doesn't lose to Talents, and this has the potential of uh, stopping your opponent from making a board. Um, so these are the hand traps that we played. Uh, 14 hand traps, I believe. Yeah, 14 hand traps. Um, it's a good number. Um, I will admit sometimes I did brick uh, because I opened too many hand traps, as you've seen in the live streams of the event and stuff. A lot of people were just bricking on like four hand traps and like maybe one non-engine or one engine card that just isn't a one card combo. But uh, yeah, you have space for it. But the downside of playing many hand traps is that sometimes you open too, man too many. But a lot of the times you'll open like two hand traps in a way to play, which is really good. So the snake guy slash uh, wanted engine. Um, we played three ash. This is a must must at three, two. I don't think you can play one or three um, because you don't want to open the one, and you also don't want to open this card really ever. Um, you want to open this card. Um, this is like an okay normal summon, but you want to basically like the reasoning for two is like if you open one you can still have the other in the deck for ash to search or bonfire um but two i think is the good number um one oak and one flame birch um i tested birch for a little bit but the team decided to not play birch so i just took it out um some people play it not a lot of people play it like in terms of like the successful deck list, but it's a nice card. Um, that's the Snake Eyes. The Wanted, we played three Wanted, one Diabell, one Original. You could probably bump the, uh, the Diabell to two or three, and you can maybe bump this to two, but this is probably okay at one. Um, two or three of this is probably good. Um, in hindsight, I'll probably end up playing two in the future. If I do play this deck, I'm not really sure, but I probably, probably will end up playing either this or Pure. Um, so then, oh yeah, the temple, I mean, this card's all right. I, I think because I haven't had a lot of testing with it, I just don't know exactly how to utilize it, but I could see how it can be good. Um, yeah, it's, this card's pretty good. And then we played one for one. This is just a good extender or starter. Um, I was thinking about playing two Diabell Star or one in one. And we decided on one and one because uh, one for one is like a different card, basically. Like, like you can have two Diabell Star and not be able to use the other. But if you have Diabell Star and one for one, you can use both, uh, which is very helpful. Like if the Diabell Star gets stopped, you can just do this. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then uh, I'll do this. Three bonfires. Uh, I borrowed them. Um, Shoutouts to uh, Magic and Monsters, uh, letting me borrow it. I really appreciate it. Very good card shop, you should check them out. Um, very good local scene, and um, the people that work there are really cool. Um, I'm really good friends with everyone there. Uh, always been a good card shop to go to. I've been going there since I was a kid. Um, but yeah, they let me borrow the bonfires for the event, and I'm really appreciative of that. So thank you uh, to them. Um, then the Fire King cards, we got three Kirin, one Arvada, one Ponyx, one Grunix for the monsters, one Island and one Sanctuary. So some people are playing two Kirin and some people are playing three. Obviously you don't play one, but um, personally, in terms of playing this deck, m my thinking about it was like, okay, the main reason that someone would play the Fire King version, aside from the pure version, is for Kirin to dodge Imperm and Baylor, or for Arvada, like for the Monster Negate. Like yeah, the, inter the extra interruptions is good, um, but letting the plays go through, through Kirin is really helpful. Um, so that was the main reason I actually wanted to play Fire King. Um, so I played it at three. And then we have some more non-engine, two cross out and two talents. So 43 main deck. The, the deck list was actually pretty good. 
Um, I bricked a couple times in the tournament. Like, actually, it was like three, three or four times. Um, but it was just like breaking on hand traps and like one card. Like, it sometimes, like one time I ended on an Arvada with like three hand traps in hand or something. And like, yeah, like you'll stop them. But there, there was one time where um, I think that was that time where I had, or no, this was a different time. I had uh, like two set and like two or three hand traps. I think one of them was a town. So it was like two hand traps, a cross out, an imperm, uh, and then one extra card. I think it was the talents, one talents, cross out, imperm, two hand traps, yeah. And then I had three draws. Like I was living that long and I just didn't draw anything, which is unfortunate. Um, so then we go to extra deck. We have Link Rebo. We have Nightmare Phoenix, Sunlight Wolf, Hida, and Dark. Uh, most of these are pretty standard. Uh, I think I saw some people not playing this, but I like this card. It's good for the Heat Soul play. But if you don't play the Heat Soul line, I guess you don't need to. Um, but I like the add back, like you add Grunix to stop the called by or something. Um, and then more Link 2s, IP, SP. These are like vital to the deck. Um, a lot of the times you're ending on IP, like in the spell trap zone. So those are very good cards. Two Princess is, so Link 3, Two Princess. Uh, the second one comes up a good amount. I don't remember if it did come up for me, but uh, Two Princess is always just really safe. Like if you if you play against Kashtira and they ban they're like, oh, like what do I banish? They'll just end up banishing something else because you have Two Princess anyway, so. Uh, two princess, one heat soul. I really like the heat soul stuff. Like you'd go like heat soul draw, make Amblo well, and then pop pop, uh, summon princess, and then Amblo well summon this pack. You get another draw. Like I like having a lot of hand traps with my board, so I like the heat soul line. Um, then link fours, Appaloosa, Raging Phoenix, Zalantis, and Amblo whale. Uh, shout outs to Alex Lopez for. Uh, letting me use this uh, to test it, see if I wanted to play it, and then I eventually picked it up off of him. So thank you for that, Alex. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, these are the Link 4s, pretty self-explanatory. This is like pretty standard. This is good too. Um, my round 7, uh, my opponent, I don't remember, where it was his name? I don't remember his name. I think, no, it was Ryan. He's from Minnesota. He taught me the Appaloosa line, but before then I didn't really know the Appaloosa line. Uh, Cause yeah, like I just started playing the deck so I, I didn't really figure it out. Um, but shout outs to him for helping me with that. Uh, and then we played Underworld cause this card's pretty good. It came up I think once or twice, but this card's just really good. Uh, playing through unaffected cards and um, cards that just like are a problem to deal with or like the one time one of the times that it did come up uh i was playing against fire king snake eye and they only had one fire so i had a bunch of monsters on board and i was like okay i don't know if they're gonna nib me here they didn't nib me here so i just underworlded their fire monsters the princess and grunix were shut off so that was pretty cool uh then obviously 15 uh, extra side deck one called by the third cross out we played shifter just just in case just in case it never came up but just in case uh i still probably will play this just because if you have the cross out for it like yeah if you draw it yeah you draw it you send it off something but yeah shifter is a big problem for this deck so i thought i'd play it anyways uh, it was pretty last minute but it didn't it didn't come up anyway, so uh, sprint and scatter shot. This didn't come up. Uh, Duster. I don't think I s or no. I, I think I cited that versus voiceless. But then we have two anti spell, one sky burn. We cited this in. Um, depending on the matchup or if we were going first, I think sometimes second. I think too. Just really depended on how I was feeling. I didn't really have a side pattern set up for this because I haven't played the deck a lot, so. I like Skyburn though, it's pretty good. It helped out with some games. Uh, then we played three Cosmic Cyclone. Um, this card was alright. Uh, I think moving forward, the best 
like use of this is to either play against like decks that aren't snake eye or floodgates so i mean yeah uh, then we have three evenly i think i even lead someone once um i mean the cards like decent but yeah i don't know most of the side didn't come up most of the stuff that i did side in was like these and this i think this was like the and like sometimes this and sometimes this and i think sometimes this like this was like almost always going in like if i was going first obviously for this for for th these i think i think sometimes i cited this and now going second like depending on the matchup uh just because like in the mirror match it could be helpful um like stop like i don't know gruenix or something and then you just play snake eye um but yeah i didn't really have a lot of testing with this deck unfortunately so I don't really have everything set in stone for what I would do. I was just kind of playing it by ear. Um, but yeah, so that's the deck profile. And now you guys can watch the, uh, the vlog. So yeah, I will see you guys at the end of the video. Enjoy the vlog. Thanks. What's up? We're at Denny's. We got the team Alex. Squad. Hayden. Squad. Squad. About to get this dub. Got the Red Bull. Yeah. Gonna get the dub with the breakfast. Gonna get the dub with the YCS. Got the Grand Slam breakfast. Yeah, we're eating at Denny's and then we're gonna do the drive. Well, he's gonna do the drive. I'm probably gonna deck build and sleep. I don't know. What are you gonna do? Play Manadium in my head. You know. <laughs> Full on matches with Snake Eye Manadium. We'll see how it goes. Alright. I'll see you guys later. This is just the check in. I'm tired. Yo, uh, oh, I can't, I can't flip the camera on here. We're on the drive, no, I guess not. Uh, we're on the drive to uh, Vegas. We're like an hour away, right? 40, 40, minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Just finished a good argument, you know, getting ready for the YCS as a team. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're prepping. I'm about to probably take a nap. Uh, yeah, see you in see you in a bit. We're here. We got the better yeah. today, so. Yeah. I get that figured out. Any thoughts? Chilling, room's room's good. We're it's all good. We're good. I was a little nanny, but it's okay. Got the third. Got a got a balcony is pretty cool. All right, uh, yeah, deck list due today. Um, I don't know what else to say. Deck list due today. Testing, probably get some food. I don't know how to do a vlog. All right, we're in, uh, it's called chicken. Big Chicken. Big Chicken. Big Chicken. We're, uh, this is Shaq's, uh, chicken place. It's all right. Shaq, if you're watching this, change your fries. I'm sorry. They just, do you have, a, you don't have a fry, okay. Yeah, it's just, there's no bueno. It's like, do like some crinkle cut fries or something. Cause those, they were like, they're like, they're like chips, but they're like tough. I don't know. Okay. The chicken was good though, in my opinion. We're at the White Castle. First yeah. time, first time ever here. We'll see how it is. Have you tried it? Yummy, yummy. You have? Yeah, I've eaten it once. I've had one slider in my life. A, I, I would get the menu, but there's like a bunch of people. I don't want to record them. But four sliders, fries, and a soft drink, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Hey, best man. deal? Not bad at all. It's the best deal I've not ever bad. heard of. Not bad at all. Five dollars to the deal. I know. Right. So we'll yeah, like I just wanted to record White version. Castle. It's probably like First time at White Castle. So, all right. 
this is the list for Vegas. That's the extra deck. That's the side deck. This is the main deck. He got his list up. Alex got his list up. Yeah. We're tired. Yeah. I'm not that tired, but it's been a long day. All right. Day two. We out here. Day two. At the YCS. Day two. For. Are you vlogging? Yeah. There's a. What is it? We have to like go to the venue and get our registration finished. We already registered online, but we have to go there and I guess, I don't know, show that we're there and then get a, we get like a coin or something. So I guess we'll do a unboxing video. <laughs> All right. I got a good, I never got All a right. good one. All right. We got our packs and our coin. We'll do the coin first. Let's do it. I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> Damn it. I never got a good one. TD Crow! TD Crow. Oh, is this Paladin? Um, uh, BLS. No, is that BLS? BLS? I can't tell if that's BLS or not. Oh, I got a gold coin. Oh! oh. No, no way. No way. What is it? BLS? Damn. Yo, oh, that's it's the same as him, but the gold version. Oh that's my pious, god. Dude. Praise the Lord. Nice, those. bro. Thank you. Fuck yeah. This is my first coin ever. I fucking never. I, this is my like, third or fourth silver and never got a gold. Nice. You got a gold last time? Like, no, I've never got a gold. All right, so that was the least. Take it Elise out. Take it out. No, I'm going to keep it sealed. No, you can put it first back in. It's, it's a, a plastic thing. Hey, <laughs> hey, can't do it. Second pack. Magic Spectre. Yeah. Got a Psychic Processor. Oh, well, he, he opens all of his packs and then opens it at the end. Like after he got it the all. Weenie. I gotta see the reveal. I'm not good with shit. I gotta see the reveal. Do you want me to do all the hollows at once? Do whatever you usually do. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Oh no, I only pulled common. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Wait, was that a secret? Magic Spectre. I thought that was a secret word. Can you hold this while I open the last one? Three packs. Upside down. It's a good sign. Hey, by the way, what's that guy's name? Alex. His name is Alex. Yeah. What is that? Who the Morphin Biker oh. Grand Entrance. So, yeah, I don't know. You got pretty bad packs, but at least you got a gold coin. I think you take those. You yeah. take those, bro. We're here. We got the homies. We got Edder. We got Team. Team XX underscore triple yeah, tactics team, trio yeah. underscore XX. XX underscore XX. triple tactics trio uh, underscore XX. Got the you. Xbox. Yeah, it's 100% Alex. Actually, what I it's 100%. Wanted, I wanted to be the silver thing. Dude, but look but at this venue. Like, There's like so you don't like, many people. You don't like silver things? No, like, no, no cap. K -A it's crazy. All right. All right. Day three. We got day three. We out here. We got the tournament. Triple Tactics Trio coming for the dub. Yeah. We got a... Uh, what is it? Tournament starts in an hour. Coffee. 
a bit cold, but we're fine. We're chilling. All right. We'll see you at the venue. Yo, we out here. Day one, about to start. Let's go. Round one. Round one's posted. We'll be doing match reports every round. So stay tuned. We'll, we'll be hopefully doing well. Pray that we do well. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching so far. All right. So round one, we won. I lost, but we won. That's so fine, good. dude. That's how the 3v3 works for a team. We, I played against uh, Fire King Snake Eye. He played against Fire King Snake Eye. Pure Snake Eye. So yeah, uh, I won in time. I uh, I drew Garunix from my Wanted, and I go Ponix attack in battle, trigger Garunix and damage step, summon Garunix, uh, and then send Kieran, summon Arvada, and then uh, he does Link Rebo after that. And then uh, I go Arvada into the Link Rebo and then Garunix into the Link, uh, into the SP for game. And time was called right after that. So we got the win. It was a close one. Good players. It was very good. Praise the Lord. Catch you round two. All right. Round two is over. Uh, our team drew. They won. won. They won. We won. They are 2-0. and oh. I played against Fire King again, mirror match. Who'd you play against? Oh, Fire King Snake Eye. Fire King Snake Eye. Yeah, we drew. It's still good. Uh, I play against Brian. We just gotta keep keep doing well. Keep doing well. Uh, so we're one win, one draw. There's eight rounds today. So our goal should be seven wins, one draw. Um, but yeah. All right. We lost. <laughs> was it? Simple as. Huh? Simple as. I I bricked game one. Couldn't play for like three turns, even though if I had like one starter, I think I could win. And I, I just didn't draw anything. Game two, I messed up. But I don't know. Yo, I 2 0 pure snake eyes. They ended on the gnarliest board. Double Omni Negate, Mascarena, Summon Limit, Cosmic Cyclone, Imperm Set, and I 2 out their ass. Dark Ruler evenly. <laughs> so did you get it? And Peyton lost in time. For All right. Round, what was that? Round four? Round four. Round four. We won. Uh, I played against Runic Sprite. And then. I played against Labyrinth. I don't even remember, bro. It was the easiest two out my life. Oh, Snake Eyes again. Thank you. Snake Eyes is so easy, bro. Like, this is the easiest event of my life. All right. We just got to keep it up. I don't think we got four more rounds. It's the way you built it, too. All right. So, two wins, one loss, one tie. Personal record is 3-1. All right. I see you later. Right. That was round five, right? Round five, we won. Uh, I beat pure snake eye, it looked like. You beat... 2-0 cash to your I beat uh, runic fish. Runic fish. Goody. So we're 3-1-1. Uh, yeah, we just have to continue and do well. And we'll be good. Yeah. Uh, this format is a little whack. There's a lot of times where it's like your, your, your one card that is playable gets stopped and then you pass and then their card gets stopped and then they pass. It's like, it's kind of unfortunate, but I mean, I we've been prepping for this for months. Six so. negate formats. Because yeah, that's true. Most formats are just like, negate, negate. it doesn't take any skill. All right. All right. We got the we got the match. Uh, I played against Voiceless. I won in time. You played against Pearly. You played against Synchros. I played against Synchro Spam. 
Synchro Spam. We got the match. We're 4 1 1. Two more rounds for the day. We gotta win both. We gotta win both. Alright, we're in the zone. Alright, so. Uh, uh, the blackjack tables go to Gordon Ramsay Burger. You know what's up. Just you know gonna the do like maybe 40 bucks. Nothing serious. We, uh, round seven, uh, we drew. It was unfortunate. So we were four wins, one loss, two draws. So uh, we dropped. There's no point. Because uh, we wanted to top. We can't top with uh, two draws and one loss. So we're not going to the venue. We're just going to eat some Gordon Ramsay burger. Because that's like the thing we wanted to do. Because that place is great. And then... Uh, we're gonna gamble like a small amount of money just for fun. And yeah. So we're at Gordon Ramsay Burger. I forgot to start it when we got these onion rings. There's only one left, but they're very good. Uh, I got the Hell's Kitchen Burger. It has like jalapeno and stuff. It's good. What'd you get? I'm on a, I got a truffle <laughs> burger, and we're gonna. I got a, a whole other hot dog. I'm not even gonna eat. I'm gonna split it with Alex. So, you know what's up. What'd you get? I got a 24 hour burger with a brisket on it. Let's go. And some hot dog. Hot dog. Yeah, they're splitting a hot dog. So, and then got the truffle fries. I'm excited for those. All right. All right. So, we went to Gordon Ramsay Burger. I, I think I got a little bit of the onion rings on there, but we ate that. It was good, right? It was good? Fire. What's it's fire? Fire. Straight. Delicious. Dose. <laughs> what was the... Okay. Alex's ratings for food are very obscure. What's your <laughs> They're rating? They're obscure. They're just They're very... accurate. Okay. The burger was delicious, but was a bad all the extra stuff really, like, kind of overpowered it. And the burger itself was a solid, solid eight. Eight? Yeah, really? Maybe like an eight point three. Really? Yeah. It was, it was good. It was delicious. It was good. Yeah, I got yeah. Uh, and then we went gambling. Uh, I put in twenty bucks, and I think Peyton. What did Peyton put in? Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, he put in fifteen. Peyton won like what was it, like a hundred fifty bucks. He won a hundred fifty, and then I. 189 so 109 and then the 20 that i put in so yeah 89 and we got cookies i got a m m one shout outs to magic and monsters <laughs> uh alex got chocolate chip cookie what's the cookie what's the rating oh 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 for good um, also a solid eight eight yeah. really oh delicious i haven't had mine yet uh peyton got a snickerdoodle um but yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the update. Uh, so we're probably gonna be heading back soon. We might make a stop somewhere, uh, but yeah. All right, everyone. So uh, closing out, uh, that was the vlog. Um, we're gonna go back over the uh, verse for the video. Um, Second Chronicles 15, verse seven. But as for you, be strong and do not give up. For your work will be rewarded so we didn't have a lot of time to test for this event in terms of what we were playing um, but we did put in a lot of work for it um, I personally thought I was gonna play rescue a snake guy but I ended up dropping the deck uh, the weekend before because I was just not really super happy with the, how the deck was playing like we, we were doing all right in, in like throughout but it was just like sometimes like opening like, I don't know, rescue. Like one time I opened rescue, preventer, turbulence, uh, fire attacker with ash. And it's like, you can't play with that. So I switched over to a more consistent deck. Consist consistent. They're both like have their problems, but this deck for sure is better. Um, just because it has a, so many one card combos um, that end on like good boards. So um yeah uh but we yeah we did put in a lot of work for it um we're not giving up 
Obviously, we're not giving up. Um, we know that whatever happened in this event is for God's glory. And uh, we can go. We went home. We were in a pretty okay mood. Um, we had a good Sunday. Uh, Saturday was all right. Thursday, Friday was all right too. Like it, it was a, it was a pretty good event, you know. And um, going back to the verse, it's like, be strong and do not give up. So, just because we work hard doesn't mean that we're gonna get what we want exactly. You know, we went into the event wanting to top, but we worked hard, and we didn't get what we want, but we were rewarded in a lot of insights. We um, we learned a lot in the event. Um, it was a good teamwork experience. Uh, it was a great event with my friends. Shout outs to Alex and Peyton for being my teammates. Um, it was great to be with them uh, for the event. We haven't played uh, an event like that before. We've played like side event, like 3v3s, like the, like the local shops basically we didn't do any like ycs or any like huge events like we've done like case tournaments or whatever but this like official event you know it was like a new like kind of feeling of playing a 3v3 with them because we've been uh playing on uh the same three of us like all, all three of us have played the same team uh since like 2019 so it was, it was cool to play with them um yeah the the result wasn't what we wanted but the event overall was it was pretty good i enjoyed being there um obviously there was parts that i didn't enjoy but overall i'm very thankful and grateful uh to be there um very grateful to be safe and sound we all made it back safe um, I actually had a time where, uh, I was at one of the vendors and, uh, I forgot my deck box on one of the tables and thank God that it was there. So praise God for that. I almost lost a lot of cards. <laughs> so thank God that that was there. That was one thing I, I just remembered, um, praise to God for that. Um, because losing, uh, your possessions is never fun and I know people that have lost them and it was very unfortunate and I'm sorry that that happens because sometimes people are just not good people um, but yeah um, going back to the verse again it says be strong do not give up your work will be rewarded if we're being strong and we're not giving up eventually things will continue to work out, you know? That doesn't mean that what I want will work out, but what God's purpose for our lives will, will work out, you know? So it's not always about doing the best at the tournament or like your specific goals being achieved. It's, you know, like in a way, it's like the friends we made along the way. Like that's kind of a meme right now, but it's actually true. It's like the people you meet, the uh, experience that you have, um, the chances to give God glory, like all those things I would say are a reward, you know, like those are very sentimental things that you can't like event performances will not beat that, you know, the event experience being with people that you're, that you care about, um, the people you meet there, you know, the experiences you have, that's like, that's a reward in itself. So I'm very grateful for the trip going well and being safe and uh, everyone was safe and sound. Um, everything was good. We had good food. Um, things were great, yeah. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate you staying until the end if you have. Um, if you skipped ahead, trust me, I've done that before too, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, it's okay.
But thank you for everyone watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. God bless. I just remembered this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be edited in uh, at the end of the video. My matchups. Uh, I played five Snake Eye variants. Um, four of them for sure were Fire King. One of them I didn't get to see, but I think because their teammates were also playing Fire King, uh, I would probably assume that they're playing Fire King. But if not, it would be four Fire King, Snake Eye, and one Pure. But it was probably five Fire King, Snake Eye, and then. One of them was Voiceless Voice, and one of them was Runic Sprite. So that was my seven rounds of gameplay. Um, I don't really know exactly what everyone else on my team played against, but for the most part, it was some sort of Snake Eye variant. Um, but yeah, I almost forgot. Peace.